99.7%. I was so close, yet I was let down again. The Lego Ninjago movie game. It's a fun game, I can't lie about that. I want to talk about the good things first. Just start off on a high point. It's a fun game. The new combat melee system, really you know, fun, enjoyable. The easter eggs and references you can find throughout the game. You, know, you can tell that the devs behind the game, you know, they look deep into the lore, into the, you know, a few of them are probably, you know, really big fans. They must have watched the show through, you know, they got the best characters, you know, made abilities to suit characters, not just copied and pasted, like, the skins, but gave them the same abilities. It was really fun. The campaign was kind of short, it took about five hours to complete. Doing side missions and the races through the maps, that was enjoyable. Um, it would have been good to be able to do the campaign missions, but with your own characters rather than just straight into a free mode. So now more into the not so great part of my playthrough of the game. I encountered a few glitches, um, bugs. I only had one crash, which was easily fixed by switching characters. Um, one of the main bugs I noticed was if you do the, the time trial races, the side quests won't spawn or activate after that, which was really weird. I just had to reset the level after that. But the worst bug that I have encountered, which has caused me so much grief to make this video, or to work on this, is in the, the jungle level, you build a structure and it spawns a contraption on the top that you have to activate to get a gold brick. If you don't activate it then, it will never spawn again and you can't get the gold brick. I got to 99.7% complete. I needed the one gold brick to get one more character and I would have completed the game 100% all achievements. But no, it had to break there. So overall, you know, I, I can recommend this game. Maybe a discounted price because it is quite short. You know, it isn't a massive 12 hour collectathon or something. You know, I, I could easily get. You beat the campaign in five hours and another five to collect all the gold bricks and complete all the missions. So expect to see a speed run of that soon so I can finally get 100%. Um, yeah, it's definitely one of my more recommended LEGO games. Wouldn't, it's not a bad play.